So here we are once again looking at the CAD manager settings in AutoCAD Mechanical 2010. Now again this drawing has been set up using the company XYZ drafting standard based on the ISO standard. Now what we're going to look at now are our balloon settings when we put parts onto drawings and show balloons to indicate those part numbers. Now if I right click as usual go to options and we're going to go to the AM standards tab again in the options dialog box there's AM standards there's company XYZ. Now last but not least at the bottom of the list we have balloon just there. So I'm going to double click on that and what it does is it takes me straight into that bomb settings again. All of the balloons, the parts list, the bombs, the component properties are all linked in this one particular dialog box. But I'm in the balloon tab and you'll notice the only thing that comes up is the item expression just here. I'm going to go and look at the style now. We're using ISO 6433 1981 circular. If I click on the more button here, that'll show me other settings that I can use for my balloons. Now, the default setting is circular. I might not want that. There's a balloon size factor, horizontal spacing, vertical spacing. What arrowhead are you going to use? What inset arrowhead are you going to use? What color are you going to use? Well, I could actually change it. I'm going to change it to circular to text, like so. My balloon size factor, I'm going to increase that to six and make it bigger. What I'm also going to do is change my horizontal spacing there to 35 and my vertical spacing there again to 35. My arrowhead, I might change that. Now, do I need an arrowhead? Well, let's have a look and see. What I'll do, I'll go for a filled dot instead. Notice the inset arrowhead also takes on board that setting. So I'll apply those new balloon settings. I'll click on OK. I'll also apply the new balloon setting, but do I? Hang on a second, look. I've got a new box here. What's happened there is because I'm using the circular two text, two lines of text, I've got one and two. So item one, quantity two. So that'll now show me not only the item number in the balloon, but how many of them there are in the drawing. So let's apply that now, and let's OK that now. I'll OK it there as well. And if I try and place a balloon now, I've got to select a part or an assembly and there isn't one. So I obviously can't do that right now. But what I can do is I can set the bill of materials and just press enter to accept main. But there aren't any parts or assemblies. But what would happen there is I would get a balloon with those two numbers in it. So again, you're standardizing. You're making everything consistent as a CAD manager. You're using that two-layer text balloon to show not just item number, but also quantity of that item on the drawing. That may be your particular workflow or process when you're using AutoCAD Mechanical 2010. It's important that you standardize. It's important that you utilize things like the ISO standard, the DIN standard, the British standard, BSI, or the American standard, ANSI, ANSI. It's important that you standardize on these things because then everybody, when they're drawing using AutoCAD Mechanical 2010, is all singing from the same hymn sheet. So everything is consistent. Everybody's doing the same thing. It makes people more productive, effective, and makes your projects run so much more smoothly. So utilize these CAD manager tools in AutoCAD Mechanical 2010.